Craig Adams here from WeddingFilmSchool.com and today I'm going to talk about what I think would be the best monitor for video editing and also show you what I'm using right now. Uh, so I've got an LG 29 inch ultra wide monitor. So the thing that sets it apart is the aspect ratio. It's 21 by 9, uh, which is very different from what you're used to, which is usually 16 by 9 and maybe even 4 by 3. Um, so at this aspect ratio, it's very close to what I talk about, you know, when I say um, 2.35 to one, uh, you know, it's, it's what people call cinema, uh, ratio. And, um, what I love about it is that when you play videos in this aspect ratio, it just fills up the entire screen. It's using all of the resolution real estate and it just looks gorgeous. So this monitor, its resolution is greater than uh, Full HD, which is 1920 by 1080. Um, so this monitor is 2560 by 1080 resolution. Um, you know, and it's it's great. It gives me a lot of uh, extra you know resolution on the sides, not necessarily in the top and bottom, but um, it's definitely great to have those extra pixels. The monitor is LED lit, so you know it's got that sort of glow of light coming out, and it makes the contrast and everything look great. And then the matte finish helps to reduce you know the the glares and it just gives this really uh, it's almost like textured but it's it's it just it pops i i like the look of the matte finish uh for the screen um so this monitor is gorgeous so when i first opened it up it was huge you know this monitor was very big but i like the idea of having one monitor versus two on my desk because i like to use full screen apps and i like to cycle through those pages of the computer you know rather than have two monitors which i know some people do which i've tried before and i also use my um, macbook pro underneath and it fits very nicely you know with the wireless keyboard and mouse to use and then all of the wires going into the macbook can be hidden pretty well and it's got all the connectivity that i need um, you know it's a great 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 greatly connected monitor so opening up final cut with this monitor uh, you'll notice that you just have tons of space you know left and right top and bottom um, it allows me to uh, really see my timeline well when i have those extra layers when i'm working like a, a highlight film um, i can have uh, my video scopes open as I'm editing and I can keep all of the windows that I need, you know, the viewer, the info panel, and then all of my clips over here on the left. Um, I'm able to see a lot, you know, going back and forth between just using the MacBook Pro screen itself and then this, you know, I really want to edit using this all the time whenever I can. Uh, it just makes things much easier. I, I get no delay, you know, it just is wonderful. Plus this photo I took of the golf looks super dope at this resolution widescreen. So this 29 inch monitor that I'm currently using is about $400 new. Uh, there is a 34 inch version that is about $850 and it has much more resolution. The 3,440 by 1,440, uh, which, you know, would just be even more awesome. You know, it'd be dope to have that extra real estate as far as editing. Um, I don't know how I would handle it. Uh, I don't know if you, it would even fit on my desk, but that would be wonderful to have. You know, of course, when you start working towards editing 4K footage, uh, you definitely want more resolution. And, um, you know, video video work, it's, it's great, but also when you're editing photos, you know, the resolution really helps to kick in at that point. And there also is a curved version of this 34 inch monitor. Comes in a little more expensive, it's about $1,050. It's the same resolution, but it's just curved. So um, I've never had a chance to get my hands on and edit you know, in front of one of these curved monitors, but it sounds cool. I would like to try it. So I think that, you know, I, I don't know if I would spend the extra money to get the curved aspect, but the 34 inch and that real estate as far as the resolution for almost 4K footage, you know, that would be great, so. Uh, if I had to buy a new monitor, I would definitely get the 34 inch at that res. 
Now, of course, everyone has their own budgets, but this high resolution 34 inch ultra wide monitor at $850 looks super attractive. So that's the one that I would tell you to save up for and buy if you're going to be editing a video. Um, so that's my review and that's my kind of buyer's list as far as what, you know, works as far as video editing. Um, I say once you go ultra wide, you never go back. It's wonderful editing with this high resolution and this ultra wide aspect ratio. Um, but until then, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Thanks for watching. See ya.